How's it going guys? It's going to be a great week. So it is that time of the month again guys. It is time to talk about the top 8 game releases that came out in April 2020. So let's get to it. So number 1, Resident Evil 3 Remake. So following on from the huge success of the Resident Evil 2 Remake which came out last year, Capcom unsurprisingly have released yet another remake for modern consoles. This one is a remake of a Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, which actually came out back in 1999, which is insane that the game is that old. It follows the story of Jill Valentine and Carlos Oliveira as they attempt to survive a zombie apocalypse by being hunted by the intelligent bioweapon Nemesis. Resident Evil 3 will also include an online multiplayer mode called Resident Evil Resistance, which actually puts a a team of four players against a mastermind who will create traps, enemies and other hazards. So it's a one versus four uh, type multiplayer mode. If you're a fan of the Resident Evil series then definitely Resident Evil 3 is well worth picking up. The game however is, I hear it's about six hours in length so it's not that long a game. So it's up to you whether you want to buy it at full price but you might want to wait for it to come down a little bit in price as well. But it, it looks looks gorgeous. The the actual art style and the visual sort of facial animations look as good as they did in the Resident Evil 2 remake. It also incorporates the new modern game mechanics, so the third person over the shoulder uh, camera, third person shooting mechanics, exactly the same as, as Resident Evil 2. So if you enjoyed Resident Evil 2, then yeah, definitely this game probably will be worth picking up, maybe at a cheaper price. It actually came out on the 3rd of April and is available on the PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, uh, for those of you that are interested. Number 2, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. So of course this is an action RPG developed and published by Square Enix. It is the first in a planned series of games that will be remaking the 1997 PlayStation Classic Final Fantasy 7 which for many is considered to be the best Final Fantasy game and one of the best Japanese RPGs of all time. The game offers 40 plus hours of content and focuses exclusively on the Midgar portion of the original game which in the original comprised roughly seven hours worth of content. It offers a new, more modern telling of the original story with beautiful graphics and animations, incredible voice acting, an incredibly gorgeous soundtrack and of course a more in-depth look at some of the main characters and key story beats. It also offers a new modern gameplay and combat design which is a balance of real-time combat as well as strategic elements such as the ATB gauge which are back, slowing down the action, selecting abilities and magic for each character as well and there's heaps of customization in this as well with weapons, items, items and materia uh, making a welcome return as well. So if you're a fan of RPGs or if you never picked up and played the original Final Fantasy 7, I highly recommend picking up and playing this game. It is one of the must play titles for 2020 in my opinion and it came out on the 10th of April and is available exclusively on the PlayStation 4. Number 3, Predator Hunting Grounds. So this is a multiplayer video game developed by Eelphonic and published by Sony. In the game, one player controls the Predator, while four other players play as a team of special ops soldiers on a mission to collect intel or eliminate a drug lord. The chief goal of the game is to either avoid being hunted by the Predator or capture and kill the Predator. Hunting Grounds was actually announced at the State of Play presentation in May 2019 and the game will also allow cross-play with between uh, PC and PlayStation 4 which is really really cool. So if you're looking for a nice multiplayer game that you can jump in on with your friends and you like the Predator series and that kind of universe then this may be a game that, that you really enjoy. It's a kind of cat and mouse uh, type scenario and, and those are always fun. This game came out on the 24th of April and is available of course 
on the PC and PlayStation 4. Number 4, Trials of Mana. So Trials of Mana is the 3D remake of the hit classic JRPG released back in 1995 called Seiken Densetsu 3. The entire game has been fully rebuilt from the ground up with fully modernised graphical improvements, character voiceover support, a remastered soundtrack and a new episode which you can experience after the ending of the original game. The story follows six possible protagonists which through their own quests leads them to obtain the mana sword and fight a world ending threat. Players can choose their favourite protagonist and two companions from six possible characters and the story will play out in different ways depending on the combinations of the protagonist and companions in your party. If you're a big fan of JRPGs then this may well be worth picking up and it looks really beautiful. The art style looks looks really great. It looks like they're being faithful to the original while sort of bringing it to a modern audience. So Trials of Mana came out on the 24th of April and is available on the PC, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Number 5, XCOM Chimera Squad. So this is a turn-based tactical video game developed by Firaxis Games and of course published by 2K Games as part of the XCOM series. It is actually set as a sequel to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen and takes place roughly five years after the events of that game, after a tenuous peace accord between warring human and alien forces has been achieved. The player controls a mixed squad of 11 characters which are made up of both human and alien characters that form the Chimera Squad, an elite unit of special forces soldiers that help maintain the fragile peace of City 31, an experimental city where humans and aliens are attempting to live together. I'm actually playing this at the moment and really, really enjoying it. But if you're a fan of the XCOM series, then most definitely this will be worth picking up for you. The turn-based tactical gameplay is really accessible and really fun, and the characters are all very unique as well. They all have their own backstory and their own take on events in the story. So it's a really enjoyable game, and uh, I think it's quite reasonably priced as well. I think on Steam it's like $24.99. XCOM Chimera squad came out on the 24th of April and of course is available exclusively on the PC. Number 6, Gears Tactics. So Gears Tactics is a fast-paced turn-based strategy game set in the Gears of War universe and it's developed by Splash Damage in conjunction with The Coalition. It's actually set 12 years prior to the events of the first Gears of War game. You actually play as Gabe Diaz and you uh, spend the game recruiting and equipping and commanding your squads on a desperate mission to hunt down the relentless and powerful leader of the Locust Army called Ukon. Against all odds and fighting for survival, your goal is to outsmart your enemy in uniquely brutal turn-based tactical combat. It's a fresh look at the Gears series. Um, it looks really, really good and I've heard really positive things about it. Um, it is also part of the Xbox Games Pass on the PC and we do know that it is in development and we will eventually get an Xbox One version of the game as well. So if you're a fan of the Gears series and you just want to learn more about the lore and just explore more of that universe, I'm sure this will be an interesting pick up for you. And also if you're a fan of of, uh, tactical turn-based strategy games as well this will also be worth picking up and checking out as well so gears tactics came out on the 28th of april and is available exclusively on the pc at the moment number seven moving out so moving out is a fun physics based moving simulator uh, developed by team 17 it reminds me heavily of overcooked the basic premise is as a newly certified furniture arrangement and relocation technician that's a title and a half uh, you'll take on moving jobs all across the busy town of Parkmore. Uh, Smooth Moves may not be the biggest moving company, but there's no task too dangerous or strange for this busy team of go-getters. Uh, your, your aim is basically to grow your business to brave new heights, recruiting colourful, customisable characters along the way. Uh, you can enjoy the story mode solo as an independent contractor, or you can actually team up uh, with friends with up to four players that can play simultaneously with local couch co 
co-op which I always really really enjoy it looks really fun it looks really quirky and it looks like it would be a really enjoyable play so this is definitely worth one picking up if you enjoy games like that like Overcooked then it'll be a really enjoyable uh, experience for you to pick up and obviously you can play it with friends or, or with family and of course uh, Moving Out came out on the 28th of April and it is available on the PC Nintendo Switch PS4 and Xbox One and number eight Sakura Wars so Sakura Wars is a cross-genre video game uh, actually developed and published by Sega it is the sixth mainline entry and a soft reboot of the Sakura Wars series the game is actually set in a steampunk version of 1940s Imperial Tokyo uh, during a fictionalized version of the Taisho period which sounds really awesome uh, the player controls the main protagonist Seijiro Kamiyama and the all-female members of the Imperial Combat Reviews uh, Flower Division who have to fight against demons while participating in the Combat Review uh, World Games. The gameplay itself is a combination of action RPG, dating sim and visual novel elements as well. If you're a fan of anime based games then this may be something that, that you'll be interested in. So Sakura Wars came out on the 28th of April and is available exclusively on the PlayStation 4. So there you have it guys, those are the top 8 game releases that came out in April 2020. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are there any titles in this list that you'll be picking up and checking out? Any games in here that you played and you enjoyed or is there anything that I missed in this list? that you would add in please let me know in the comment section below hope you guys are having a great week of course take care and as always happy gaming bye guys